everybody. So this is my second time trying to film this because my car got full within the first minute of me filming. So anyways, let's get started. So this is a Dollar Tree haul that's probably about a week and a half old. Um, and this is from like at least five different Dollar Trees. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this high dome cloche or I'm sorry, high cloche dome. Um, I only got one because I, you know, I just wanted to try and see if I could, um, make a little scene inside. This one shows like, um, I guess moss with some fairy lights, but, um, yeah, I've got some miniature figures and I want to make a scene and then see how that turns out. I might do a Christmas scene instead, but I like this because it's much more sturdier than the ones that they've had before. Like I think the ones that they put out during Christmas. So I just picked up only one. I did pick up another one of these happy planner type of um, mini notebooks. This one has got um, the little flowers on there and it's got black paper in there. So um, yeah, just picked up another one. Then I got, let's, let's move on to the stickers here. So I've got these ceramic stickers that I guess you can stick on a mug, but I'm not gonna do that. I might stick these on my uh, my laptop instead. I don't know, we'll see. And then I picked up another one of these 3D sticker bags. It was the last one at one of the Dollar Trees. I've only seen it at that one Dollar Tree. I've not seen them anywhere else. I guess because these came out last year sometime and I don't know, they just finally had, had gotten them in a couple months ago and I did haul um, them in a video. So got the last one that they had. I'm not sure if I had already picked up the candy. Then I got these planner um, sticker packs. Now, the reason why I picked these up is because of this one right here. I'd seen somebody else on YouTube haul it. So I picked one of these up for my good friend Kat. Hello, seeming DJ on Instagram. So I got her one because she loves cats. Got one myself one, even though I'm more of a dog person, we do have a cat. <laughs> so um, I did pick one of these up and I also got this one right here. Now I didn't pick them up for these type of things, you know, the planner related stuff, because I don't really use that. I don't have, I have such a boring life. I don't have enough going on to really plan anything. Or these, because I don't really care for the happy planner type of um, layout. I just really picked them up for just the regular stickers. I don't know, I might give the other stuff to my nieces. Got another one of these um, ephemera type of stickers. I think I already got this, but you can never have um, just one. <laughs> you know, you can always use them. And especially if it's travel related, because with the vaccines going on now, and I did get my second vaccine yesterday, so my left arm here is very sore. Um, I haven't really developed any um, side effects yet such as like, you know, the fever or the fatigue. Well, I do feel a little tired, but not like what I was thinking I would feel. Um, and any of the other stuff, I don't know. I just hope it doesn't like hit me on the, on the um, third day because that's gonna suck. But anyways, um, hopefully we'll be able to start traveling again, maybe in the fall, because um, I don't plan on traveling anywhere. I haven't gone anywhere since um, the pandemic started last year in March. So anyways, moving on, I got some more of these rub on stickers. Now I'm trying to avoid the glare here. Um, I believe these are clear, so they'll show up better on black paper. And I do have a, um, standard, uh, traveler's notebook insert that I made with black paper. So this would look really good on it, or I could just put it on a black cover, you know, I mean, you could probably still do it on a, on white paper. I don't know. I'll try that. Got another one of these because you can never have too much of these rub Um, I don't know if I've picked this one up before. This one is more food related. So, um, and you know, these rub always work well with Hobonichi because you don't want the pages to get all, um, thick. So I, I don't know if I hauled this the last time. These are the, um, resin type of dots, I guess. Uh, they're different from the other ones that Dollar Tree had put out a long time ago, which I have tons of, which I need to really start using up. But I like these because it's more of my type of colors and color scheme with like the purple and the green and like uh, the violet, magenta, I guess you could say. So I got the ones in the small and then the ones in the big. Um, another 
sticker pack right here. Uh, these are foiled, and I like that they're a little bit more, you know, fashionable, girly. So that will look, these will work well on my Hobonichi. I got these rub on letters because they look kind of, um, what's the word? Uh, I know this style, not neo gothic. Um, great, I can't think of it, but very 1920s, I think. So, yeah. And then, uh, last two sticker packs, I got this one and this one. So here's the dogs and here's the cats. And cat, I did try to find another one of these, but this was the only one. If I find another one, I will put it in your box. So yeah, got these two. So it's a lot of stickers, um, but hey, they're only a dollar. So, you know, you can't say no to it. I did pick up this retractable eraser because one of my nieces was telling me she needed um, an eraser. Thing is, is that I forgot to bring it with me when I went to her house and I had picked up another one, so I gave her the other one, but I'll go ahead and give this to her sister so that way there's no squabbling over, I need to use that. You know how that is. Um, got more of the book rings. Picked up these um, flower sacks, uh, these flower sack towels, because they're really good for cleaning up messes when you're doing like mixed media and stuff. And um, I do already have, I think three of these from two years ago. And it's so weird because I don't see them all the time. And when I do see them, I grab two because I don't wanna have to go and use a dish towel, you know, to clean up. And these are only a dollar, you know? And it's like, if they get really, really nasty, I could just toss them if I need to, or uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess toss them. So let's move on to some stuff that are not on the table. And I can't remember if I've already shown these. These are the shampoo bars that Dollar Tree has put out. Um, this one is Berry Bliss, Ocean Wave, Fresh Mango, and there is another one. I think it's Argon Oil. I, like I said, I can't remember if I've already hauled this in a previous video, but I purchased these to, um, to keep so that when we travel, instead of carrying liquid, you know, try these instead since it's solid and you can put it in your um, your carry-on luggage. Um, I'm all about having some of those kind of essentials because you never know if your um, checked-in bag is gonna show up in time. And yeah, I know hotels provide that, you know, and stuff, but um, sometimes, you know, you just wanna use your own stuff because you don't know how their stuff is going to turn out unless you're going to Japan. Every hotel will provide body wash, shampoo, lotion, all that, and it's really good quality. So um, yeah, I'm gonna probably give some of these to my mom because I think she is going on a trip to South Carolina in the fall. So she can test them out for me, or at least one of them. Um, I also got one, well, no, I have several of these. Now I've um, had these for quite a while. I just never, I think, showed them in a video. Now, Dollar Tree, every Dollar Tree I've been to has these. So these are the super bright LED desk lamps. And I advise everybody to get some of these because one, these are great. Now that summer's coming up, it's gonna be thunderstorm, tornado weather, especially here in the South and the Midwest. And when the power goes out, you know, you need a um, flashlight, you need candles. But this is really good for like, um, yeah, if you need a really bright light, and it's pretty bright. I'm gonna turn off the light here really quick. Oh, maybe this doesn't have batteries. Hold on here. Yep, doesn't have batteries. So, good thing I do have some Dollar Tree batteries here. So it uses three AA. Um, I found this in the same bag that I had the lamps in. And, um, I must have bought them also so that I could put batteries in. But anyways, um, like I said, I've already had several of these and I still have the whole bag full because I meant to stick it in the box that my mom is sending back to the Philippines to um, our relatives so that they could use them also because they tend to have more blackouts um, than we do. And sometimes it could be on a daily basis, especially in the summertime for them when they're, um, using electricity um, more than what their power plants can handle. So we're talking about, yeah, you can expect to have no power sometimes from um, seven until, you know, four or something like that. And same thing goes with water. So you always have to have a bucket full of water 
ready so you can flush the toilet. So anyways, here we go. See how pretty, how bright this is? And it's LED, so it's gonna last a long time. So yeah, I did pick that one, well, those up. Let me turn the light back on here. Okay. So I'm gonna probably take that one to work instead. So that way, because where I sit now, which is downstairs, I'm in the middle of the building and there's no windows. So if the power goes out, I've got light and I don't like using the flashlight for my phone, you know, because power's out, how are you gonna charge your phone? And I don't leave a power bank at home. I'm sorry, at work. So let's see what else we got here. Um, I picked this up for my nephew. Um, it's one of those ugly dolls. I've been seeing a lot of people um, hauling this and it just clips on to your backpack and I think it's cute. It's gray. They had other colors, but I figured gray, he's a boy. Um, went like that. Um, I did get this pond. Oops. I did get this pond's lotion. See, it's my left hand there because my arm is sore. Um, this is the light moisturizer. Uh, now I get several of the regular kind, the one that's really, really emollient. And I didn't realize that that one had, well, I did know, it has the oil. But the problem is, is that um, while it's really great at keeping your hands moisturized, you get a lot of like, you know, um, what do you call it? You get a lot of fingerprints all over your phone and then I'm constantly wiping. Cause I'm, that's just one of my things. I don't like to see my fingerprints all over the phone. So I, I picked this one up cause it's glycerin based and this one does keep my hands a lot more. Well, I mean, it keeps it moisturized, but it's not oily. So um, I usually have like one at my desk at work, one at my desk here at home, one um, in my, I've got one in each purse that I have. And, but what I did was I transferred them um, a little bit to a smaller container so it doesn't take up so much room. So once I'm done with all of the regular ones that I have of this, I'm gonna go ahead and just start buying more of these instead. Cause my hands dry out since I've washed my hands so much. I'm just used to washing my hands a lot since I worked at the methadone clinic. So um, yeah, got one of those. Sorry if you can hear the air conditioner coming on. Um, I've got, I picked these up, the Lifesavers gummies, because these are some of my favorites. Um, I have book haul here. So I got these two books, so I was just intrigued. One is called Freya, the other is Slay, and um, I guess it's book one, book two. I'm not sure, I've never heard of it, but this is supposed to be based off of the, uh, the Norse goddess of love, beauty, war, and death. So, yeah. I'm gonna read those. Um, I picked this book up here, which is Pretty Prudent Home, Your Ultimate Guide to Creating a Beautiful Family Home. Now, I just thought that the book itself was just really pretty. I like the inside. I don't know if I'm going to um, eventually, you know, cut this up or what, but then I was looking, flipping through, and it's like it has a lot of really cute um, ideas, you know, for all around. So I think I might just keep it um, intact. So not bad for a dollar. I did get another one of these Hello Tokyo, but this one did not have the, um, the cover, the soft cover to it. In fact, you know, when they were trying to scan it, there was like, there was nothing to scan because there's no barcode. And that's when I realized, at first I was looking at it, I'm like, do I already have this? I don't remember. And then when they were trying to scan it, I realized I do have this and that the soft cover was missing. So Kat, this one is for you. Okay, I think, I don't know if I put one in your box or not. If not, Clarissa, that's for you. Then the last book I got here is the um, Stitch and Craft Create Quick Knits. Um, yeah, I'm always like, I'm going to learn how to knit, but yet I still haven't done it because I'd rather have somebody show me how to do it than me trying to do it based off of a YouTube video. I just can't seem to get it when, when I'm watching it on a video versus if somebody's teaching me how to do it and can correct me right then and there. So it's small and you know, it's got some cute ideas. So that's why I picked it up and hey, it's a dollar. So yeah, so that is my, um, oh wait, do I have more? Um, I think I have more. Yeah, 
I guess I do have more. Sorry. Okay, so I have some more of these. Um, what do you call them? Lucky Fortune. There we go. Lucky Fortunes. Now um, they're two. So basically, they're two for a dollar. Um, I've picked up these before and gifted them to my nieces, and they're crazy for them. Um, so every time I see them, I just go ahead and I just buy some because, you know, they're collectible. There's so many different designs and, um, yeah, they just like wearing their arm candy. So that is, yeah, that's it. That is my Dollar Tree haul. And um, I hope that everybody is having a great weekend. All right. Bye.